Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to 2018. Today we're going to do a grilled salmon recipe, but if you live anywhere north of southern Florida right now, look outside. I'm not going out to grill these on the grill. We're going to bake these in the oven, but we're going to use the same grill sauce that I would use in the summertime if I was going to grill them on the grill. This will be a no catch, just cook. Um, it has been absolutely frigid here in the United and the uh, Eastern Pennsylvania side of the United States. Frigid enough that we are actually going ice fishing this weekend is the plan to collaborate with another friend of ours who just started his channel. Uh, hopefully, I think we're going after Bluegill, but I won't know until I hear from him later this evening. We're going to make some rice, just some plain white rice, and we're going to use that for a bed. And then we're going to make a nice glaze, a maple syrup glaze to put on top of the salmon. Lay the salmon on top of the white rice and some mixed vegetables as a side. For those of you who don't know, Mrs. Blue Collar is of Spanish origin. So you actually won't see me making this a lot because any Spanish people from the Caribbean islands make rice all the time. So you're going to need, this is three cups of rice, so I'm going to use three cup, uh, six cups of water basic rice recipe. Bring this to a bowl. Bring those ingredients to a bowl, then we'll stir, cover, and simmer. <coughs> I mean, just read the directions on the back, really. Store bought salmon. To my knowledge, there is no wild caught. There is no salmon run in the area of Pennsylvania we live in. Two. This recipe normally calls for four skin-on salmon fillets. But that's especially if you're doing it on the grill. If you're going to grill this on a grill outside, um, on the grate, um, the skin's going to help moisturize it, keep it from burning, and it's also going to make it easier to flip because you will need to flip it on the grill. All right, while our rice is going, we're bringing that to a bowl. Let's go ahead and season our salmon and what you're going to need for this recipe you're going to need to season the meat just a little bit some salt and pepper make the glaze we'll go ahead and make the glaze we have our rice bowl and we have our salmon out here seasoned we need three tablespoons of maple syrup a teaspoon and a quart a uh, teaspoon and a half of apple cider vinegar about three quarter a teaspoon of Worcester sauce and you want about three quarter a teaspoon of mustard powder as well protect our clothes a little bit you laugh, but I washed dishes and bought my first car and insurance on it in a Shoney's restaurant when I was a young man. And this is the same apron. You're going to mix all those wet ingredients in the same bowl to make the glaze. We're going to need a whisk that we got here. We're going to need to go ahead and open all this crap that I should have had open before I started this video. You also want to need some extra virgin olive oil. I didn't bring that over or mention that before. 
You also want to drizzle just a little bit over the uh, glaze. We'll go ahead and do that. Rub that in a little bit. Make sure your hands are clean. In the microwave, melt a half a stick of butter, four tablespoons. And we need to whisk together the butter, the syrup, the vinegar, the Wissinger sauce, and the mustard powder, and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper to make the glaze, okay? So for that, let's go ahead with the three tablespoons uh, actually you know what maple syrup the condensity of that let's do the uh, teaspoon and a half of apple cider vinegar apple cider vinegar. All right, we've got that. A quarter or three quarter teaspoon. teaspoon. I like Wissinger sauce, so if you go a full teaspoon on this, it's not going to hurt my feelings, but it might be a little stout for other people. So I go a full teaspoon of Wissinger sauce. I try to. I hate that little thing. Full teaspoon for me of Wissinger sauce. You might want to do the three quarter of a teaspoon. Three quarter a teaspoon of mustard powder. Let's go ahead and dry our teaspoon. All right. You know, you really should do all this before you make a video. But this you probably do want to only do the uh, three quarter of a teaspoon. This stuff can be potent. About three quarter of that teaspoon. Of the mustard powder. And we need three tablespoons of maple syrup. This is just cheap store brand breakfast syrup. If you want to be fancy with it, use whatever. We uh, the name <clears throat> the name of the channel is Blue Collar, so us uh, blue collar fishermen we try to use what's uh, affordable. Three tablespoons of maple syrup. And I'm not going to teaspoon out the black pepper because I have a grinder, but about three quarters, uh, three quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper. All right, small. You can use a smaller bowl than this. You can see it doesn't fill it up very much. This just came with our new set, so I'm going to use it. Plus, it's got a spout. Whisk all that together, and that's going to make a nice glaze for our salmon. Rice is cooking, and we have some vegetables here. These are just the steaming bag type vegetables. That's going to be a side. Really, I mean the salmon. The salmon tonight is the star of the show, and I am a fishing channel, so the fish. Oh, we almost forgot 
that's not going to be all our glaze. The melted butter. We have the melted butter that we're going to add in here. Oh yeah, that's looking nice now. Push that together. This is a little bit more straightforward. You've seen us make trout tacos in the past and you've seen uh, Sars just pan fry up some trout. This is salmon that I bought at the store on special. You can use this on trout. Uh, you can use the same glaze on trout that you catch yourself. Trout and salmon are in the same family. They have a similar palate feel uh, and a similar taste. So this glaze, I have used a glaze similar to this on trout and you can use this on trout as well. However, I am sure the uh, trout aren't biting in this weather and if they were I'm not fishing for them. Sometimes the fishing is about the fishermen not the fish. This is just absolutely brutal as most of you know. Alright guys, we're going to preheat the oven to about 400. Our glaze. olive oil in the bottom of the pan vegetables we're just using the ones in the microwave bag carrots carrot Everglades seasoning. I got this. Um, you see, Robert Arrington uses this a lot on Dare Me for Dinner. You can go check out his channel. I'm gonna put a little bit of that in these mixed vegetables. Hey guys, thanks for watching our maple glazed salmon. Like I said, you can also use this with trout if you catch trout in your local area. We do catch trout here sometimes. You've seen videos in the past of it. Uh, I don't have any here available. This recipe that I originally read is for salmon, but I have used it for trout in the past. Trout and salmon, like I said, are in the same family. Similar taste. It's a maple syrup glaze. This is normally for grilling, but I just baked them today due to the fact that it's like three below zero outside, as a lot of you, it is for a lot of you. Uh, 
just made some rice and some mixed vegetables to go with it. I'm not the greatest rice maker, so I'm sure there'll be plenty of you out there going, that's not how you do it. But, uh, you might want to give this salmon recipe a try. It's sweet and tangy. Maybe it's a different way you can eat uh, some of your fish. Maybe try it on your trout. Thanks for watching, everybody. Tideline.